Hello everyone, Firebird here, and today we are back with Star Wars The Old Republic. Today we will be doing the, uh, the, uh, story arc for Drummond Kass. Okay, let's get started. I know of you. You work quietly and tell no secrets. I am the apprentice and voice of Darth Charnas. I speak in his name and I would bargain for your services. I'm listening, continue. I require individuals capable of gaining prestige in a society weaned on secrecy and madness. Individuals who can earn respect, if not love. I need infiltrators to eliminate an enemy of the Sith. You would serve well. What sort of enemy are you referring to? Our enemy is the Order of Revan. A cult of fools hidden at every stratum of Imperial society. For years, the Revanite heretics have secretly recruited military officers, powerful Sith, wealthy mercenaries, anyone who can add to their power. You want me to join them, I take it? I want you to help my master ruin them. Instead of following the Emperor and his Dark Council, the Revanites follow a long-dead Sith Lord, tainted by Jedi ways. If you can uncover the Revanite leader's identity for us, my master will reveal him to the Dark Council. His destruction would be assured. All you have to do is join the cult. I can get you inside, but you must earn their trust. Do you have a plan in mind? The Revanites have a secret compound in the jungle. Take this token to the cultist at the entrance. He will initiate you. Earn an audience with their leader. When you have seen his face, return here, and you shall have your reward. Did you lose your way in the jungle? You have my sympathies, but we can't help. We have no food or water to offer. There's nothing for you here, and strangers are not welcome in this place. You'd best be going. I'm not leaving. I'm here to join the Order of Revan. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about, or... Ah, you do have the token. Someone must have had great faith in you to send you our way. Welcome to the Order of Revan, Initiate. Welcome to your new life. What is this place? This place is our haven, built by the Master and protected by the Faithful. Here we leave our duties to the Empire behind. This is where the Master guides us in the mysteries of Revan, the one who began a Jedi but grew into a Sith, and then something more. Why would a Jedi join the Sith? And what do you mean by something more? As a Jedi, Revan was a warrior who slaughtered armies. As a Sith, Revan was a teacher who trained a thousand Dark Apprentices. Eventually, Jedi and Sith both turned on Revan. But instead of being destroyed, Revan was reborn. What do you mean, reborn? What was Revan's final fate? Revan was stripped of power, stripped of life, of memory, and left to rot. And still, Revan relearned the ways of the Force. The reborn Revan destroyed Jedi and Sith, and came to Drum and Kass. Although Revan's life ended here, the Master preserved that life, so that we may learn from it. I'm not Sith. What does Revan have to teach me? Sith or not, Imperial or not, Revan... Mm, I don't like that not... answer. I'm, I'm a... Ah. Well... What is this place? This... Why would it... As a... Avenge... What... Revan... The re... 
That doesn't explain why the Sith think you're heretics. The Dark Council sees our beliefs as a threat to its power. Maybe the Council's right. But if the Council falls, it falls because it's weak. Revan mastered the light side and the dark side, war and peace. We seek to walk the same path. Take part in our rituals, learn Revan's path to greatness, succeed, and you earn the right to join us. Then I look forward to learning. Around you, you'll find your new teachers, Revanites who have spent their lives recovering the works of Darth Revan. Speak to them. Complete the tasks you are given. When you are through, return to me, and the Master will give you your final lessons. Come here, come closer. You are among the initiates who wish to join our order, and this is good. But tell me something. You are here because of the Order of Revan. Are you ready to die for us? If that's what the Order requires. They're very eager, but not so very wise. Consider carefully, for every Revanite must face the trial of death, just as Revan died at the hands of the Jedi and Sith. Death freed Revan left him unbound from all oaths and promises. It paved his road to rebirth. Will death free you from your past? For one way or the other, I am ready to find out. Before us is a path. Beyond the path is a cave. A cave dedicated to Darth Revan. Initiates fall on the path. Initiates are torn apart by things inside the cave. But initiates who reach the end are reborn. Remade. Let's hear some more. Go, and you'll see. The path is here. The cave. The cave will be more trying. I think I understand. Go. Free yourself from the life you've made. The petty choices, the mistakes, the oaths sworn. All of it will be washed away. It will be terrible. It will be glorious. When the deed is done, and you have reached the end of the cave, Return to me. So all those people, you know they're crazy, right? Trust me, I've seen enough cults in my day. Being here, do what you have to do with the statue and let's get out.
you return. Dripping with the blood of the womb, you are reborn. Your old life, everything you were, all of it is dead. Buried inside that cave. I'm not sure what you mean. In the cave you died. You stand before me, made anew. Tell me how it feels. Your obligations have vanished. Your past no longer burdens you. How does it feel to see the world reborn? Abandoning my obligations isn't that easy still. It's not a bad feeling. There is no shame in that. When Revan died, the rebirth took many months. It will be no different with you. You've done well. And I'm proud that you've begun your new life as a Revanite. Choosing allegiance to us, first of all. Take this gift to guide you in your new life. It will remind you of what you've become. Leave now, and may the Force make you strong. Come forward. Speak to me. We're all students of Darth Revan, and I enjoy the company of initiates. I remember when I was like you. I remember my trials and the joy of killing in the Master's name. You're so fortunate. There's no doubt in my mind. Good. Even if you fail your tests, feel lucky to have participated. I'm Ladra. Once the personal assassin of a Sith Lord, I am now the serene protector of the Master and his students. I contemplate Revan's teachings as I execute intruders and heretics. But I also guide initiates and help determine their trials. Your wisdom must be great, Ladra. Will you share it? Of course I will. That is how I honor the Master. Every Revanite's initiation includes a trial of the past, a right to bind the initiate to Revan. Your right will be very special. You will find the mask of Darth Revan, what he wore after becoming Sith. It's a powerful symbol of his greatness, long lost to us. Whatever I must do to prove myself, Ladra. That's the proper spirit. Excellent. The mask is in a collection of antiquities possessed by my former teacher, the Sith Lord Grathen. It must be freed from that heretic, rescued in a reign of blood and death. What do you plan to do once you have it? I'll give it a place of honor here in the compound, of course, so every Revanite can see it. Speak to Torun, our curator. He'll give you the spiritual guidance you need and tell you where the mask is. When your journey's done, bring the mask to me. Good luck. Welcome the peace that comes with serving the master. What have we got here? I wasn't expecting a visit from any initiates, but you're welcome to stay and talk in any case. I'm Tarun, devoted servant of the Master and student of Revan. What can I do for you? Ladra asked me to talk to you. I should have known. I'm to ritually prepare you for finding Revan's mask, then. <laughs> it's unnecessary. Ladra's devoted to the Revanites. She's also obsessed with that mask. Says it talks to her. Ladra wants the mask to represent everything Revan ever was, but he wasn't just Sith. Before his rebirth, he was both Sith and Jedi. What difference does it make what Ladra believes? She misleads young initiates like yourself with her narrow beliefs. It's tempting to seek answers in material objects. Ladra will use the mask to teach that Revan was a being of only darkness. I don't want that mask becoming our Order's sole focus. Bring it to me. I'll keep it safe among a few like-minded scholars. You're gaining something as well. I'm not after the mask for myself. I have no use for it, except for what it represents. I'm sure Ladra promised a grand reward for the mask. I can't match it, but I can promise your initiation will proceed smoothly. Will you help me preserve the real Revan? Or will you let Ladra overshadow everything with a Sith relic? I'll have to weigh my options before I choose. I don't have to tell you to be careful, but may the Force be with you. May it keep you strong and guide your return.
Now, I will be stealthing this part. So, uh, I don't know if I'll keep it in here or not. Pirates worry about a guy who steals a Sith relic. His skin turns black, it's easy to mop. But if you want to grab a Jimmy, I'm up for it. By the stars, you made it back. Did you find the Mask of Revan? Tell me you didn't let Ladra have it. She is mad, and you know it. I decided to bring the Mask to you. You have it? That's wonderful. So that... 
That really is the mask of Darth Revan? Didn't think it would look so real somehow. I went through a lot to retrieve this for you. And the results are absolutely worthwhile. Allow me. I can almost feel Revan's power. It's dark power. Understandable that Ladra was so obsessed with it. But then, that's exactly why the rest of the Order doesn't need to see it. The darkness was a part of Revan, but only a part. Isn't the whole point of this Order to understand everything about Revan? The point is to discover who Revan was and what made Revan powerful. The dark and the light. I'll tell the others here that you completed the trial of the past. No one will argue. You're not a Revanite yet, but you're one step closer. Now I have some explanations to make to Ladra. Wish me luck. More initiates. Hmm. The compound's getting less secure all the time. Still, I suppose the Master knows what he's doing. And if you can follow the ways of Revan, we'll judge your worth. I'm listening. Continue. Revan didn't work alone. Revan had allies, all walks of life. We're no different. You want to join us? You need to face the men and women who got here first and who've proved that they're loyal to the Master. A reasonable security precaution? This isn't some formality. This is one of the trials of your initiation. You need to show those in the Master's inner circle that you understand Revan's teachings. They'll ask questions. You'll answer. If they're not satisfied, they'll abandon the test of wisdom and begin your test of strength. Revan didn't suffer the weak. I'd expect nothing less. I'll do what's needed. I'm glad to hear that. Your pilgrimage starts in the jungle. You'll find your first guide there. He'll determine whether you're worth sending on to the rest. Be ready for anything, Initiate. The jungle's dangerous, and so are the true Revanites. So, you have come. You who would join the Order of Revan. I am Moron Dokas, Lord of Beasts. I am Revanite, and I am Sith. What do you say to me? Moron Dokas, I have come to prove myself worthy. Very well. Then listen. For decades I have served the Master. He found me when I was a lava and saw that I was strong in the Force. Against the Empire's traditions he trained me. This is the way of Revan, to teach all species the path to power. I believe I understand. Good. Now you will answer a question. And you will answer well, or face the claws of my pets. Why do you think Revan trained aliens in the ways of the Sith? Why did Revan offer power to all seekers? Revan knew that servants are more useful when they're powerful. You answer well. You answer wisely. You speak like a true Revanite. You may proceed on your pilgrimage and seek worth in the eyes of another. Any suggestions on how to deal with this guide? No. You will do this on your own. Seek the mercenary called Set Afar as she teaches her soldiers. Then shall your trial continue.
talking. Have some of the men head into the city. They've earned a break from training. Yes, Commander. It's good to see you alive. Not everyone makes it past Morin. Raymond contacted me from the base. Said you wanted to join our society. Is it true? It's true. I'm seeking the approval of the Inner Circle. I'm called Setafar. I teach these mercenaries how to fight. My service to the Master is a matter of honor. Centuries ago, my clan fought Revan when we invaded the Republic with the rest of the Mandalorians. It was our privilege to battle Jedi. We lost the war over Malkor V, but that was a privilege too. It's out of respect for Revan that I agreed to join the Master. I see what you're saying. I serve the order to ensure Revan's name isn't forgotten. Revan was a warrior, a leader, and deserves to be remembered. Since you're not bound by honor, how do I know you won't sully the Dark Lord's memory? What can you do for the order in Revan's name? I can fight. I'll battle the order's enemies wherever there's need. Good. But I need proof of that. I sent out a squad of clansmen to hunt the local wildlife. They're camped nearby. Defeat them, or get yourself killed. And don't worry. Talking here will make sure they know you're coming. Yes, Commander. Revan earned the respect of my grandfathers and grandmothers by defeating them in battle. Now you've earned mine. You're not Revan. Not yet, at least. But you're something. You've got my approval to join the Order. I'm honored. You'll need to talk to one more person before you head back to the compound. Find Major Pathel. He oversees security on the wall. I'll head there immediately. Glory to Mandalore, and glory to our master. Over. There's nothing to trouble us here, and we can speak freely. I'm Major Patel, at your service. It's always wonderful to meet new initiates. The Order of Revan needs all the dedicated young people it can get. A pleasure to meet you. I don't know how your other meetings went, but I like to conduct these interviews informally. No point making your life difficult, eh? And quite a few initiates, young officers, acolytes and the like, think our secret society will help them become morphs or dark lords. You're not like that, I presume? I intend to earn my rank, sir. I'm sure you do. And I'm sure you will. Not every initiate realizes that advancement in the Revanites does not guarantee advancement in the Empire, nor how dangerous being a Revanite really is. 
The Dark Council seeks to root us out. So, how do we respond? How do we answer the Empire's accusations of heresy? We move secretly. We manipulate those in power. Exactly. We work in the shadows to reform the Empire, but we don't betray its ideals. That's all I needed to make my judgment. I'm going to send a message to the compound. Raymond will be waiting for you. I think it's time I got going. Journey safely, and be proud to be a part of the Order of Revan. Before I go anywhere, let's empty Do my you require medical attention? So you finished the pilgrimage. Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the inner circle approves of your initiation. That's good news. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. I really appreciate your help. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the master. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one. But you've met the challenge and showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. I'm glad to have the chance. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order. Where do I find him? You may go to the master in his chamber. He will be waiting for you. Listen to him, obey him. Through the master, you will know the path of Revan. and been reborn stand before me now you who have reclaimed the ancient past stand before me now you who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers look upon the master of the order of revan yes my lord this is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey you will walk the path of revan forevermore the enemies of the order will force you to move in shadows but we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. I thought the master was a man. The rule serves its purpose. Besides, it felt appropriate. Revan's own gender is unclear in many of our records. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. What makes the Order such a threat? Revan came to Drummond Cass after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our Order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. You really think Revan replaced the Emperor? I do. It's the only way the puzzle pieces fit. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. We shouldn't let them get away with this. We won't. It will take many years to free the Emperor, however. And first, I need your help on a different matter. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. 
Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revenite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. Why would he believe me? I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Revenites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. But I thought I was part of the Order. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. subtle, silent agent. I am sorry you had to see Sith so weak as the Revanites. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? It was a man. Couldn't learn his name, but he wore this amulet. Oh, perhaps that will be enough. A symbol of rank or affiliation or... This! I know this amulet. How did you obtain it? I don't need to tell you the story. You can figure it out. This is the amulet of my master, Darth Charnas, taken from the Order of Revan. Speak to no one of this. I will deal with my master myself. I'll leave you to it, then. Take your payment for my own keepings. It is all I can offer you without alerting Darth Charnas. Leave now. We cannot be seen together any longer, and I have much to do. I wish you good luck. You've done well. Now go, and beware of Charnas. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Later, everyone.